It is Quicken <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first video of 2020. I'm a little giddy. I have not been in front of the camera for like two weeks. So a lot of people are getting into their New Year's resolutions and I thought it would be appropriate if I made a video about my top 10 thrifted items that I have found over the years. I know that there's a lot of resolutions out there. If it's to shop less fast fashion, if it is to reduce, reuse, recycle, if it is, um... So I wanted to cover a variety of topics and potentially resolutions in this video and just show you some of the pieces I have loved in my wardrobe. Some of these items are over 10 years old and it really just goes to show that if you find a timeless, amazing, great quality piece secondhand, it can stay with you for a lifetime. I get a lot of questions about some of the pieces in my wardrobe and trust me, I will be covering them. Do not worry, I'll talk about the jacket. <laughs> so hang out with me today and I will show you my top 10 thrifted items I have ever found that I love. So narrowing this down to 10 items was pretty tough, so I will be throwing in some honorable mentions in this video, like this dress that I thrifted to see Joanna Newsom in. I love this dress. I think it is so, so, so perfect. So uh, where do I even start? I have to tell you, I was really shy to get in front of the camera. Taking a two-week break for winter was super awesome, except I took a week off of Instagram and like lost 400 followers like immediately. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely show your support by checking out my page where I will post some of these pictures as well if you wanna check them out. And maybe you were unsubscribed because I was inactive. I don't know how it works, but I was just like, I knew this would happen and then it did. So jumping in, I, if you've been here for a while, I think you're going to personally be familiar with a lot of these pieces. So it might, you know, stir up some memories for you, some good feelings, but maybe answer some questions as well. And the first piece I want to show is this turtleneck. This is a very unique turtleneck that I got thrifting in West Philadelphia. And it is this short turtleneck and I, I, maybe this is a mock neck. I've never sat down and Googled the difference, although I could have easily and could still. But if this is what I believe to be a mock neck, if it's just like this, and it is this very unique color, this color, it's coming up true on the camera. It's like this almost green, almost mustard color. And the sleeves just have like a little bit of detail to them. And they have this braid, it has this braided detail down the middle. I have had this piece, I would say, for at least five to six years, and every winter I cannot wait to wear it. The tag says Annex Casual. I love the juxtaposition between me being this person and this turtleneck being like professional and tidy, and I, when I wear them together, I feel like it just is a statement. And I think I originally paid like $8 for it. And it is one of the like best finds I have ever, ever found. And every year I wear this and bring it back. And I love the color, it's so unique. And just, I couldn't believe I found this. So this next find has been in my wardrobe for so many years. I think maybe I got these back in like 2010. I think that sounds right. I was thrifting with my grandma and she paid for these items. So it has to be at a time where I, had, I didn't even have $10. As we do, I went home for summer, told my grandma I don't have any shorts. And she took me to a thrift store for like maybe seniors or I was shopping in the senior section and I found these shorts. I have had these shorts for at least 10 years 
and every year I love them. I have never thought about giving these up. I have never thought about selling them. I just, they're perfect. I've always had these three colors. And what's so amazing about these shorts is they are American apparel. So these are American Apparel size large. And when I bought them 10 years ago, I was worried that I wasn't a size large and luckily I've aged into them. But no matter what, they've been so amazing. They are this like denim texture, but they have this elastic waist. And I've really just like, these have been such a staple in my closet for the last 10 years. I really can't imagine life without them. So I think whoever donated them, maybe they were cleaning out their like scene daughter's closet when she went away to college and whoever at the thrift store was like, oh, these are bloomers. <laughs> I think they were like $2 each. I remember my grandma gave me a 10 <laughs> when we went to the thrift store and I got all three of these. The pink is so amazing. If you ever wanted to find these on Depop or secondhand, these American Apparel like denim shorts, are perfect amazing i know there's this new american apparel on instagram like la apparel can anyone in the comments talk about it because i used to love american apparel just absolutely and these biggest like one of the biggest thrift finds i had ever found all three of them together all the same size all very like just beautiful so the next thing I'm going to talk about are these shoes. These shoes are quite amazing and I always get compliments or questions about them when I show them online. And these I thrifted in West Philly and they are just these little, I'm, I wanna say real leather sandals with a tiny little heel and an elastic back strap. I love the like mule shoes trend, but I need a strap in the back. I don't know, I just really need it. I love that this has a little elastic back and it is like the perfect brown shoe. I've had these for, again, like five or six years. I believe I got these in beauty school, so maybe 2015. And these are just so perfect. They are perfect for my shoe size, which is a five, a six. And really, I've just never found anything else like these. They're perfect because in the summer, just with like even this dress now, they just add that like grounding, like natural tone to your, your outfit. I love a brown shoe. It's like, it's always a guarantee. I love a natural tone. And these being real leather, getting them secondhand was nice. And I know that they're gonna last forever. The elastic like isn't as stretchy as like always, I think in this shoe particularly, but really I love them so much. So much as a shoe is covered that I don't depend on the elastic, but I love these. They are such an awesome spring, fall. I've worn these with socks and they just like go crazy. So to quickly talk about accessories as like one thing, I have this belt and I love this belt. This is a blue braided belt where the part of the belt can go through any like any part of the belt 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 and i got this at philly aids thrift in philadelphia when i was working on my stranger things lookbook uh 2015 right and i got this because i felt like it was 80s inspired and i believe i wore this for nancy's look but since I've loved this belt, this is the belt I use. I was not a belt person before this belt and now I use it for everything. I style everything with this belt. I guess this is vintage. I don't know, the tag is like <laughs> But I love this piece so much. Like there are so many times where I wanna say I've never found anything good at Philly Aids Thrift. But then I think of this belt and I like can't live without it. Next and quickly, this is my luggage. So you probably, you know, haven't seen this because one, I'm not a jet setter by any means. This has been my luggage if I travel. Um, I This is what I use for Joanna Newsom tour when I go to Pittsburgh. This is my like, if I'm going to go on an airplane, this is my luggage bag. I mean, I love it. It kind of just like has everything, you know, 
The text inside is in Japanese and I found this at a thrift store while I was still in high school but I was scared to use it as my backpack but realized that I had like found something really unique and special so I held on to this and as I got older if I travel if I'm doing like a photo shoot or something like that like off a bend something that's bigger than a backpack or like needs to be sturdier than a backpack because it has these feet I feel like I can fold clothes nicely and lay them this is my suitcase but I don't go anywhere so it works for me next I wanted to mention this shirt and it is because I, I don't wear it anymore but I used to wear it like a uniform I used to wear it every 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 single day and I'm mentioning it in this video because I love thrifting graphic t-shirts I love thrifting band t-shirts I love thrifting anime t-shirts I wanted to mention this because one thrifting can be like a lucrative enterprise if you believe in it to be that way. This is a piece in my wardrobe that actually turned to be worth a lot of money. And it is this Viva Hate Morrissey t-shirt. So like I said, I, I don't wear this anymore. Last I checked on eBay, this shirt is worth $800. And lucky for me, I didn't cut the sleeves off or like poke holes in it or anything like that. My other Morrissey shirts that I have that are vintage, um, I cut the sleeves off for a video or they got a hole in them and I made it bigger. Some shirts like this, if they're original, if they are hard to find, are worth a lot of money. So <laughs> this is a shirt I just wanted to mention in this video because even if it's something I don't wear anymore, the shirt that I thrifted that is now worth $800 should be in my top 10 video because of the value. And you know, I at one point loved this shirt. So seven, I believe, number seven, is this shirt. I love this shirt and I cannot deny it. I have actively worn this shirt for the last 10 years. I got this shirt in... 2010, I believe, um, and it is this white school uniform button-up shirt. You guys might recognize this. If not, I can tell you I wear this all the time. As recently as my Robert Smith <laughs> Halloween costume, this was the shirt. This was my shirt um, when I wore that mod dress I wore it underneath, and it is a school uniform shirt that I got in Boston. So I bought this in Boston. Thrifting in other states or other places is always really fun. It's affordable, it's unique to the area. I think thrifting in other places, you can find something that might not necessarily reflect the region that you're from or the weather where you're from or even just like, you know the old thing, if you thrift in the suburbs or in a rich area, you might find something nicer. I've had friends who made like full-time careers out of like driving up to Vermont and just thrifting like all L.L. Bean stuff, but I digress. I got this in Boston and it was quite a weekend, but I'm so thankful that I got away with this shirt. This is so, so, so cool. This shirt has held up, like I said, for the last 10 years and I actively wear it because it is so unique with the like scalloped collar. I think that's super fun, but it is just like a great white t-shirt. I bring this out all the time. I dress it up, I dress it down, I make it punk, I make it mod. It's just like such a sick staple and it has been with me for so long and I, you know, bought it for like two dollars. Next, you probably know this iconic flannel. This was my uniform forever as well and it is this scratchy, wool Pedalton flannel over jacket. And this is thrifted in Philadelphia. This was given to me because it was wool and it shrunk. So I wear it and it used to be much bigger on me, of course. This is a dry clean only piece and I don't, I've never done that. So yeah, this gets washed with my laundry. Has a little Cousins Collective pin on it. But I, I love this. I love this jacket so much. I wear it as a top layer. I'll wear it as like an inner layer to like keep the heat in. 
and I never thought I would wear like a scratchy wool like jacket with any sort of gusto but I love this piece I've lent it to friends I've just like I've had it for so many years and it's just like such a staple in my wardrobe there it says dry clean only. It's not happening. I love this piece. It has been with me for years and years and years and years. And for me, it is timeless. I love a red plaid and it has that high function that it is wool and I'm appreciating it and giving it its true proper life. In Philadelphia, it is here for every cold winter. And like I said, I, without a doubt, wear this to the maximum and it has been so nice. I think I've had this since 2014 and mwah. So if that was an eight, I'm just gonna say that was number eight because number nine is actually this dress right here. I haven't had this for many years. I thrifted this to see John Mulaney, his stand-up special in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And it is this beautiful blue, silk dress. The tag says 100% silk and I did buy this from a consignment shop so I did pay like market value for this so maybe like 30-40 but I can't imagine like at one point the full price of this garment may have been a hundred dollars you know but 100% silk it's size 16 so it might be for children <laughs> but I find the most success with clothes that fit my body sh shape in thrifting. Traditional shopping, I mean, things are more narrowed down because you can kind of gauge what your size might be in different brands and stores. In thrifting, I'm always surprised that I can find something that is highly flattering to my body type. Like the dress that I got for Thanksgiving fit amazingly. Like, I couldn't search online for something like that. It's something you have to find, and when you find it, it just makes sense. So this dress has a tie in the back that gives waist, and it doesn't have a very deep neckline, so you don't really need the clavage. So this dress, when I found it, just fit me and it was amazing. I do pull it out for special occasions because I think it's very beautiful. You might notice right now it's kind of wrinkled. I don't want to mess with it unless I need to wear it because I know that this is a very important piece and I do not want to mess it up at all. I believe I steamed it once and I can kind of see where my first steam mark is like over here. Never again. I'll spruce it up when I'm about to wear it. So excuse, excuse the like a wrinkleness of it. But this dress is so absolutely beautiful, I can start crying. I turned heads of John Mulaney. I wore this for a Christmas party. It's really nice to have that dress. And it is a thinner fabric, so I think this spring I can really bust it out. But for the winter party, I dressed it up with like a fur jacket and it's just a timeless, it's blue. It really just fits amazingly. In thrifting, particularly, I have found things that just absolutely fit. My shape, I feel like, looks good in a button-down, but my attitude is like, large smelly t-shirt. Finally, before we get into my favorite thrift find, or like, number 10, or I guess reverse, number 1, I do want to give some honorable mentions to some of my pieces in my wardrobe. I love thrifting, I love some of these pieces, and you know, some of these things I've had for years and years. I have literally put out a bunch of pieces on the floor that I knew I wanted to mention, and then I just mentioned like something else. Like, I really wanted to mention this like American Apparel skirt. This like, what is it even made of? This like silky, like this, this sound help you identify this material. This skirt, I thrifted this and it has a cigarette burn in it. I have to find it, I love it. it has this like cigarette burn in it. And I thrifted this for like $8, but it, it it's beautiful. I love the fit. It fits right high-waisted and the length is just perfect for someone with some extra cake who wants coverage. And look at it. Look. Circle skirts. Circle skirts became popular, which are flattering for my fit, but I had this like two or three years before circle skirts really came into fashion. 
and I, I couldn't give this up for the life of me. When I started my Depop a few years ago, I was like, this one's worth money, and I was like, no, starve, keep it. If you are interested in starting thrifting or starting to reduce your waste or become zero waste or shop less fast fashion or no fast fashion or no buy, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is the framework for a no buy lifestyle. If you buy these great pieces, if you know what shape flatters you, or you know if you have these pieces, these nice brown shoes, this nice blue belt, you really can just go on forever. So challenge me to a capsule wardrobe video if you please. I want to make more fashion videos this year. It's something I have a passion for fashion. Um, it's something that I am interested in, but am more of a hobbyist, but also have to wear clothes every day. Finally, it's here. This jacket. So this jacket I thrifted a couple years ago at Village Thrift in Camden, New Jersey. And it is just one of the most beautiful and unique and interesting pieces I have ever thrifted. And I thrifted it on a whim almost. But then this jacket is just so amazing. So this is a blue, this is not denim, quilted print, blue jacket with a corduroy collar. And the inside of the jacket shows this like man, hunting with this horse and he has like a hunting dog sometimes he's he's with all of his dogs you know i don't know if this is a reversible jacket i like have never considered that honestly because it seems like it would go crazy but now that i'm looking at it why, why not? So this jacket, this is a Talbot's jacket that I thrifted and I believe I thrifted it out of season or like end of season because I think it was like $16. I have never shopped at Talbot's. I don't know if just like a nice upper middle class woman had donated her closet or what have you, but this jacket was brand new, not worn. I've never shopped at Talbot's before, but I think that I would thoroughly enjoy it because I love this piece. It has these pockets, which are currently full of tissue, so one moment, please. They are the only pocket on the jacket. There's not like another little, but the thing about these pockets is they actually go like to all the way to the seam. So they are kind of deep and they have this corduroy trim and nothing is like cheaped out. Like everything is like higher end, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what to expect from Talbot's. I always kind of thought it was like similar to the gap, you know, in style and quality and customer base, but I don't know. I've never been there. If your mom works there, please let me know and hook me up with a discount. But if their clothes are that high quality, you know, it's amazing. Like no detail of this jacket is like unthought of, but this jacket is also my winter jacket. It's not very long. Um, sometimes I like a little booty coverage for those cold, cold nights, but it even has these like snaps on the side. I thought my camera was turned off and I was just gushing about my jacket this whole time but I quite love this jacket. I get compliments on it every single year. It's a really nice timeless piece and the pockets are good enough for me. My phone doesn't fit in them, but like, you know, that's pretty normal. And I like, I don't know the story of this jacket. It doesn't have a, a rent, like a ring. So I don't even know it, was it supposed to be a jacket? Is it just like some, I don't know, the two weeks between fall and winter where it's chilly kind of jacket, but I, I love this piece and I will love it forever and I really just found it completely on accident and it just goes off and I love it so much. So if you've always been worrying, wondering about this jacket, let me know. Am I, am I reversing this bad boy? I'd have to take the tag out. That has been my top 10 thrifted pieces that I have ever purchased in my entire life that I still own. I have a flap skirt from like high school that I, I lost and I wish I had it with me. But regardless, that's just how thrifting and collecting clothes can be sometimes. 
If you would like to see more fashion-oriented videos from me, definitely leave your suggestions in the comments below. I would love to see them. And definitely please leave a like on this video. I shaved my legs for it. If, you know, if that doesn't earn a heart, what else does? Let me know how, what you thought and what your favorite thrifted pieces are. I love a good thrift story. I could tell mine clearly for hours. I will have to cut a lot out of this video. I have filled an entire memory card. But thank you guys so, so, so much. Happy New Year. And if this aligns with any of your goals, I'm so happy to share my story with you. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. It would really help me out because 400 people were like, she isn't posted in three days. I gotta go. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.